Okay, guys, welcome back. We have brought our biggest John Deere. It happens to be our oldest one. We'll look at it here on the map. We have taken it from our farm right here. I just made a cut and brought it all the way up here. Do not waste your time. And we are going to go ahead. While we're up here at the shop, this seems to be the repair garage and the shop. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves um, we have all that straw sitting in the field and we definitely want to get it picked up so this guy is only 95 horse to run this guy is 60 horse and a lot cheaper but the issue is is that um, if you look at the how much it holds this one can hold up a lot more quite a bit more in fact okay so we're gonna grab this um and we're gonna check out um i'm not sure what silage additive stakes are but we're gonna add that and um we'll put these wheels on it all right buy it there we go now it should be sitting here at the shop, and when we take our tractor, our John Deere back, old green here, um, we are going to go ahead and do that. But we got them here, and them two tractors look a little like, if you're not real familiar with tractors, our two John Deeres. So this one and this one right here kind of look a little similar. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is... Also, for traction, we're going to go in here, open the vehicle options. So, we're going to, wait, we can repaint? Oh, okay, just repainted the same color. I figured John Deere wouldn't like the color deals. But, what we can be doing here is we're going to set up the bigger wheels, because this is going to be the tractor that does our plowing and cultivating for the time being. And, I I mean, I don't know. Ooh, there's different tires here. Ooh, we... Let's see. Do they cost any different? Do they have... Let's go with Michelin. And we're going to go with the dual setup on the back for some extra traction. So, sorry guys. I am also learning this at the same time as you guys are this is brand obviously this game is brand new to me let's go ahead and take it out yeah man now we're rocking this is a real tractor now um and actually while we're doing this i'm just gonna go ahead let's hook this guy up and bring this back to the farm i don't think we'll use this tractor on it but it'll save us a trip grabbing it right now folks Oh, hey, this Massey Ferguson here is the same speed as our other John Deere. As you can see here, um, these guys, uh, this guy's only at 21 max speed. It's down there right next to that uh, fuel icon in the middle. And we have a, uh, let's see here, 24 and 24. So I think we're going to be using... The Massey Ferguson. I didn't realize this thing had 170 horse. So we really don't have a, a low bad tractor. And to be honest with you, that kind of hurts. Because we need to probably get a newer, uh, lower horsepower tractor. Um, so one thing we're going to be doing is, let's go ahead, lower pickup. This is our forager wagon, and what this does is going to pick up all our straw. Eventually, we'll bale this, but in the beginning, we don't have the equipment for that, so we need to sell it. And actually, offhand, I'm not sure where we're going to need to sell it at, actually. Maybe this load, if this does fill up, obviously, we're going to need to um, go ahead and sell it somewhere, but... If this doesn't fill up on the one load, let's see, how full is it? It's only at 5%, so we may get lucky and not have to go sell it real quickly um, right now. Uh, but I'm really interested. The game starts us in August, 
And I think that is a big deal because I think it wants to show off our wa- the, the snow mechanics and what you can do with the snow. So with that being said, I'm kind of, this is my expectations. I'm expecting you have to plow or you have to plow snow because I, I live where there's a lot of snow in real life in Wisconsin and you can't do nothing without plowing snow. With that being said, um, I hope there's more to it than that, but if that's what it is, I'll be really happy, actually. Um, I just like the fact that Farming Simulator 22 always adds new stuff. What's this tractor sound like? Kind of quiet. Still, not a bad tractor. We're going to be using it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rest of this field... And then bring you back when we're done here. All right, we got it filled up. It's at 74%, so we don't have to unload it to get the job done. We will take care of this a little later. But first, um, we need to go get this guy. Oh, not that one. The old, old green here. And we're going to get old green up here cultivating this field because we really want to go ahead and get this plowed. Oh, not lower weight. Um, select other to a lower cultivator. All right, so let's go ahead and get this field going. And with the new grip, he shouldn't have no problem at all. Let's hop over to the other tractor. This is a cedar. We are going to put, um, we are going to go ahead in this field as well. We're going to, um, plant this with oil seed because it looks like the only thing we can plant at the end of the year here I did notice however there was let's fire up the truck it's got some mean exhaust I did notice that this was sitting over to the side and I'm pretty sure this will hook up see if we can hook up if it's what it is I think it is we should be able to Oh, see, in real life, if this is what I think it is, this is for hauling your harvester heads around. And our harvester head is so small that, what is the run button? Um, oh, R2, there we go. And we are going to go ahead and just go ahead and sell this guy. And then I'm going to get this field planted after this guy drives over all of my field and we're going to go ahead and just sell this a piece of equipment. We don't need it. And then we're going to plant this field afterward, and I'll bring you back here, folks. All right, we are back here at the garage. Let's disconnect that. This seems to be the spot where I would assume you sell equipment to. So open up, and can we sell that? Oh, it's only 800 bucks. That was kind of a waste of my trip, but now we don't have this random piece of equipment here. Um, actually, I want to see what the value of this guy is, because we could actually use kind of a lower horsepower tractor. Uh, and the vehicle is eight, oh, 84000 Huh. What could we buy for 84000 Maybe let's take a look really quick. Oh, there's different cars too. Oh, that is not. I think we'll be staying with the old truck. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, we were looking for. Oh, that's definitely not what we were looking for. Let's go in here. Where is trackers? vehicles oh there they are smaller tractors we don't need teeny weeny tractors uh, 75 horse this thing might be kind of neat though we might play with that down the road we do need to get something with a little less horsepower um, but not super slow that guy's only 15 miles per hour why don't we go down to there's a blue 
Oh, that's that's actually still pretty powerful. That's a T6. That's what we always, in the last series, called T4. So let me go ahead and just look at these, think about the options, and then we'll buy one. All right, I did notice something here, interestingly enough. This one is 31 miles an hour is its top speed. These other ones are mostly just 24. So I think our hands are tied since this is going to be the guy that we use uh, to transport stuff and whatnot early on. And with like with that wagon and that. So let's go ahead and sell that one. And we have 120000 We're getting a little short on cash. But I may have a idea. Oop, we got to get out of here. And I just messed that up completely. I We may have an idea. Uh, I might... If it's like games pass, we might be able to make some other money. Let's go ahead and buy this. What can we... Um, let's see. Wide tires is probably a good option. Oh. Alright, we'll have to remember that we can put narrow tires on it because... Um... These might, it might be what we need to set up for, for running a fertilizer. But let's just go with, first things first, let's do wide tires with weights. And we're going to purchase it. Yeah, we don't need the big stuff. We can come back and get it later. So let's go ahead and grab it. Alright, so, ooh, fancy. Um... I really wish you could turn on the lights. Um, the old way, there was a way, and I can't remember. There's, oh, well, that's them lights, but that's not the. Okay, yeah, I guess uh, the hazard lights don't come on. So we're going to go back, and I'm going to try to see if that way is still possible to make money. Okay, we may only do this once, only because I want to show it off. But anyway, there's these contracts, and you can borrow items for the thing. And actually, it's kind of a good way to test out new vehicles. So I did 47, and the reason I did 47 is if you look on the map, 47 is right by us, and so it's close. But then I realized the buyer would already items or over here so we're gonna have to bring these items all down to that field once I do that let's see if we can get this trailer hooked up naturally here I think this one can get doubled up Oop. Um, I, I think it can I'm not a hundred percent sure there we go we got the both of them and we're gonna leave that guy here um, I'm gonna take these over to the field to unload him um, but I'll bring you back when the equipment's all there in the field. Oh, hey, so I finally got the equipment here to the field. Wasn't super fast, if you're wondering, to drive this thing across the map. These harvesters are quite, quite slow. Um, but one of the reasons I'm doing this work for another farmer, an AI farmer on the map, is it's a good way to make some money well it doesn't seem to be that good of a way to make money but it does lower the price of the field which i'm not going to be too concerned about but i did want to show off this mechanic and i do feel like this is really going to help us out where let's see here um i don't know where the mission icon is here and i guess what i'll do is i'll go ahead and do this off camera and that is not my field, so I don't care. <laughs> and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, we are done with that field. I just unloaded it. So now we're going to take it with this tractor, if it can even move. Let's see. And it looks like there is a mission icon over here. So we're going to go ahead and take a gander at this. Uh, this does seem a little bit different. It used to have a progression bar, actually. And so let's go over here and take a gander. I do know I was playing around a little bit in between. 
And I do know you can rent a train right there. So for a thousand dollars an hour, seems like it might be a little expensive, but uh, we'll see. Maybe you get a lot more money for doing the train stuff. Also, guys, I watched that uh, lawn, the trailer, the beginning of Farming Simulator 2020 to uh, the one on uh, the first page, and that looked so cool. I had to put a video out on it. If you haven't seen it, it's the first one on the playlist before episode one even, or if you are watching this, the date comes out came out yesterday. Um, and that is really cool. So, um, also I noticed in that launch trailer, um, that stuff spoils, um, and where, where is, uh, tip, tip side, green door, I'm not really sure, left, okay, let's do left, um, I'm not seeing a, Thingy doodler. R1 and triangle. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. So I'm interested to find out. It looked like crops have spoils or can spoil and have more issues than just being overripe. So that is very, um, very interesting to me. Also, I'm not 100% sure how this mission is going to be ended um this is my first time ever doing a mission on the new game can we not uh tip side back huh green door hmm i'm not seeing where we can actually unload this guy let's try going this way um, oh, there we go. Okay, I think I had the wrong tool selected anyway, but... Alright, this is good. I wonder if this is going to complete the mission for us. Let's pull that up just a little bit. We're not getting money, so this is definitely for their task. We haven't got no money yet. Alright. Where are you? 25% transported for field. I don't understand what that mean by that. Um, let's go back up to missions. To wait, we did that. Huh. What ounce product was there? All right, I'm going to have to go figure this mission out. I'll be right back, folks. All right, I might be just because the game is new, but I'm struggling to figure this out. Maybe I have to do pick up the straw, which means we're going to have to go unload ours. Also, real quick, guys, look at this. I don't know if you can hear that horn, but whenever I get in a vehicle, I always test lights and horn. Pretty darn good horn, I might add. And uh, so on here, we're going to go ahead and hear too quickly, and we're going to go ahead and look at the sales. Okay, so on contract, this is 89%. You need to deliver the wheat. I feel like we've done that. And we're going to try one more thing here. I have uh, decided to go ahead. Where is the darn thingy doodler? There we go. I see the straw icon that we have. Maybe we have to pick up the straw in that field. So we have to go to South Via Valley Biomass Energy to sell this stuff to get this empty because I'm sure we can't put mission straw in with the straw that we have um, so it looks like it is actually this way kind of alright we are going to head over there 
And uh, the life of the farmer is a real one, guys. Let's keep rolling. Also, if you hit enough buttons, you figure stuff out. And we we're on little blue, and I was just hitting the buttons. And as you can see, uh, my life is complete. There is the little hazard lights on the guy there. So that is how I do it. It is R1 and up. You don't have it on here, but it's R1 and up if you're on PlayStation. Okay, we are up here at the biomass plant. I think this is where I sell it. We're going to find out if we get any money from this here. Let's go ahead start selling it. Oh yeah, well, it looks like we're making some. I don't know that we're going to make a kill off of this. But this is definitely something that we need to do to make cash. It'll help us get us to the winner. Also, what is this dealio? Oh, sell wood. Interesting. Oh, so you can sell wood there too. Alright, I'm going to go see if this helps. We pick up that straw in that other field. Alright, so that did not work. It said it didn't have access to land, so I am not exactly sure. Missions might be bugged out a little bit, but I did want to show that's a way to get your prices down and make a little bit of cash. Although, we um, are going to be done for this episode here, guys. Well, we got a new tractor. We got the new Holland T6, a little blue. And we upgraded the John Deere, and we are ready for winter. We'll see you guys in the next episode, folks.